Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and the master taste of whiskey.com. And today we have the Talisker, 15 years of age of the special releases 2019. And well, Talisker is well known for its 10 year old whiskey and its 18 year old whiskey and a lot of different types of matured whiskey. And now there is a 15 year old Talisker in cast strength. So this is the specialty of this bottle. It's 15 years of age and it has cast strength. And that's not the typical way Talisker is available to the masses. This is 57.3 ABV, but it's priced around 130 euros, dollars, pounds, wherever you live and how high your taxes are. Yeah. Um, the Talisker uh, special release is part of the series of the special releases of 2019. There had been, I think, 10 or 12 of them. And it was bottled in 2019, so it was distilled in 2004. And uh, this bottle is with the motto of the distillery made by the sea. Uh, it is maritime and a little bit smoky. Yeah, this year the special releases had been named uh, rare by nature. So, and this uh, Talisker is limited in the releases or in its release. And uh, the tube is made a little bit uh, fancy with the seagrass with oysters on it. Uh, yeah, established 1830 and yeah, that's it. And uh, I'm very happy that the distributor sent us small samples of all the special releases. And I'm, I'm sorry that I did not taste these bottles before, but there had been such a lot of work to do uh, over the Last month we were busy as we could be busy at all. And uh, yeah, so this is a little leaflet with cam which came with the, uh, with the bottle. And uh, there are all those bottles described in that leaflet. And to the 15 year old, they say uh, in the nose, a mild nose feel with a notice so spicy prickle and lightly nose drying. The aroma is immediate maritime with notes of sea salt, dry seaweed, peeling boat varnish uh, and warm sand on a base of smoldering peat, very spicy and malty. Honey and smoke, even a drop of water suppresses much of this. Body, medium to full and palate a mouth filling texture at natural strength. The taste is at first unexpectedly rich and sweet before a spiciness asserts itself with a pinch of salt. The trademark chili catch as you swallow is still there while the pepperiness on the palate comes across in complex waves of drying spiciness. Interestingly, all these tastes are enhanced by a little water, which makes the effect more rounded, sweeter and spicier still. Finish long and spicy with a delightful aftertaste, lightly drying with water, longer, spicier and more peppery. Leaves a thread of smoke on the tongue. Yeah, and here they say distilled, not 2013. As I said, no distilled 2002. So 57.3, not a whiskey. I'm tasting neat. And uh, so we... We'll have a try. Smoky. Not too much because other people are interested in that whiskey as well. Oh. All those special releases are not colored. So this is natural color. It shows a lighter golden, no, not a lighter, a full golden color. And it's quite, well, disturbing in the glass because high ABV whiskies are very light in the glass. The viscosity is low of that whiskey. 
We have smoky note on the top. Maritime, really? Seaweed, iodine, salty, and intermixed with all of that smoke. Yeah. A little dryness. Yeah. But not peppery, not chilly. This comes on the palate. Yeah, so I provided myself with a little bit of still water. Now going down just a little bit because they said it would be best undisturbed, but it's too high for me, 57.3. So just go down to 50 and have another smell. Much lighter on the nose, much more fruit in it, not that smoky. The maritime notes come again, takes a little bit. Now it's stable again and getting stronger. Yeah, cheers. That really hits, but it's smooth, astonishingly smooth, like, yeah, candy, probably a little bit vanilla, but then shortly after that, now it's gone and the spiciness and the cask had taken over and not that chili, not that peppery, it's more mature. So definitely more mature than other Tarasca, like the one with 10 year old, oh, that's spicier as this one. Light salty note. Mm -hmm. Becoming drier in the aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With a second sip, the spiciness is there. A light, light chili note, no pepper note at all, or the other way around. So they made a difference between the pepper note and the chili catch. So for me, both are quite the same, um, but this one is no, not at all that spicy and sharp as the other Taliscas are. So this is in contrast, really friendly and building up in your mouth and the caramel note is strong in this one. And now in the nose, the smokiness glows up. The seaweed has gone a little bit, more vanilla and the casts they use are rejuvenated ex bourbon casts. So they reactivated them by re-toasting uh, and recharring them. And by that you get fresh vanilla into it. So there's not the residues of bourbon in those casks, but they are fresh American white oak casks uh, recharred. Yeah, a wonderful piece of work. Now more spiciness on my tongue. Yeah, now the, the talisk is there after the, the third sip, sip. And uh, this is different to the normal talisk, which hit your tongue immediately. So this is much more complex, more friendly or friendlier uh, than the others from talisk. Closer to the 25 year old than to the 10 year old. Yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. There's more to come.